What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with yours truly, Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. You know, I get asked a lot by parents, should my kid play up? And it's a very common question that I receive, and I will try to give you some of my best advice in this show. But basically, I think it's generally good to play up. So you might be surprised by that. I don't. Uh, some of you may not have expected that, but I do think it's actually good to play up because the level is higher and it's always good to compete against stronger and stronger players. That will make your kid tougher. And if you're a, like a super senior, serious senior watching, same for you. You should not always play people up at your own level. Same in practice. You should try to always seek out players who are better than you because they are going to help you get better. They're going to help raise your level. Like the great William Pop de Alvarez, the great coach from Spain, the legend. Uh, he always said, if you practice with people or play with people your same level, you will stay at their same level. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. You should always seek to compete against people who are higher and higher level. That being said, and I just did a video on how you can, there's a lot of value in playing a tournament uh, that may that where you're the number one, where you're the best one in the tournament. I, I just made a video on that. So you may think I'm contradicting myself, but I'm not because it's also valuable sometimes, not the majority of the time per se, but many times you can play a tournament with lower level players. And there's a, there is value in that because number one, you learn to handle pressure. And number two, you have the freedom to work on parts of your game that you may not be able to access or experiment with when you're playing someone really, really good on the other side of the net. So for those are the two primary reasons. I like to see, I, I really like to see a stu my students or my players or any player uh, show that they can be tops in their age, like in their section or in, in the country. I think that, that it, there's something special about that. I like to see a kid being able to beat everyone the same age as them. I don't like to see kids playing up to duck matches or players or tournaments or things like that uh, so i think it's really valuable when a kid knows that they can whoop they can whoop everybody in their 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 area and they have they can beat and everyone their age and then at that stage you start to think all right let's start playing up one division up or maybe two age divisions up and we can really uh, be ambitious with playing up but i think when kids never win everything at their own in their own own age division i think to me it, it's uh maybe a little bit some a little bit something wrong with that and, unless you know they're like you know way above the level and they just haven't played that many tournaments or maybe they're traveling on another circuit or i was just thinking of carlos alcaraz who when he was 15 he was ranked i think like you know 20 or 30 in the world itf juniors so he basically already proven that he's one of the best juniors in the world but he didn't stay it wasn't worth his time to stay in ITF juniors to uh, prove that he was number one in the ITF juniors. He just went out on the pro tour. And by the time he was 18, he was already, you know, a top ATP player, which is inc pretty incredible. But like there, you know, there, that's a pretty big example, but there are lots of smaller examples like that of, for juniors who, you know, they get to a certain level, they've proven that they can beat pretty much everybody. And then it's reasonable to like, you know, move up and get, get more challenge basically, because most of the time you do want to have more challenge. So in principle, I agree with playing up, but that, that is just abused so often by parents and sometimes by coaches where they're like, well, we're, we're just always going to play up like everything up and we're never going to play down. And I think you should mark off some time in the, the, um, the periodized plan for your kid, the, the tournament plan where, where your kid's going to play same level or down. And, uh, you know, have that target on their back. Deal with the pressure of being top seed in the tournament. Uh, learn how to go through five, six, seven matches. And it's also good, pretty good for the confidence when you're winning a lot of matches uh, sometimes. It feels real good sometimes to hold up the trophy on that Sunday and know that you cleaned up everybody. That's a really nice feeling. And I think you don't want to just, you know, do that all the time. But there should be times in the year where you're playing down or playing same level and just learn how to clean up the tournament and, and hoist the, the trophy at the end of the week or at the end of the weekend. I think that's a really good good thing. And then sometimes, depending on the schedule, there might be a, you, you might have uh, no opportunity to play someone really good. 
and you just play uh, like maybe a local event where you're the best one and you work on something. You get better. You know, you, you develop a nice, uh, complete game of skills. So uh, that's what I think, guys. In general, it's good to play up. Why? Because it's super challenging. It's exciting. It's motivating. And it's going to make you better, you know, if you're tough, if you don't get depressed from getting your getting uh, beat down by someone really good. Assuming that you're a warrior, it's going to be tough for you. And that's the other thing. Kids who are very sensitive should probably play up a little bit less. You know, I've, I've talked about that in other uh, videos on the channel. But in general, it's very good to play up. But don't play exclusively up. And don't try to avoid certain players. Uh, if your kid doesn't like playing certain players or certain styles of players, please put them in that tournament and make them uncomfortable. Make them face whatever they don't like. And that will make your kid a much better competitor. Guys, if you like this Project Maker Minute, please consider watching my big show, The Project Maker Show. It's available on this YouTube channel and on all your favorite podcasting platforms. I'll see you guys on the next program.